The mission was, uh, we were there to try and capture a high value target. So we'd inserted by helicopter, and then from there I was on the left hand flank uh, with Cougar, uh, and we started to move an extended line towards the target. Remember the uh, helos came in from the north to south along a, uh, a creek. Our helos uh, landed approximately 400 metres short of the target, along with uh, Sergeant Jay and Cougar. Uh, Sergeant Jay uh, deployed Cougar in front of the patrol to sweep and provide early warning for the patrol as we approached uh, the target compounds. So it wasn't really long after that we'd inserted, quite literally, uh, you know, in 100 metres into the patrol route that he uh, sort of gave a strong indication and then pushed off uh, into the left down into a creek bank and I sort of lost sight of him at that point. That threat was positioned on the left hand uh, flank. Um, as we approached the target, it could have inflicted uh, quite heavy casualties on the patrol. So once Cougar gave that sort of strong change of behaviour, I knew straight away that he'd detected someone. Uh, so I started to push up a little bit faster. Uh, I mean, as I was sort of closing that gap, I started to see him enter the river uh, and then uh, start to swim across. But that's when uh, the first burst of um, automatic uh, gunfire sort of uh, coming around him and I could see the rounds kicking up around him in the water. Uh, I couldn't observe where the rounds were coming from so I just tried to close that gap as quick as I could and try and provide some cover. Cougar uh, took rounds as part of his job he was trying to do but uh, certainly didn't uh, shy away from it. Uh, he kept swimming and closing the gap uh, towards him. Uh, he got to the other side uh, and then at that point sort of charged the tree line, forced the uh, insurgents sort of step out in the open and uh, Cougar was trying to apprehend him at that point. Uh, even as Cougar made his final approach, uh, Cougar was sort of trying to bite his arm at that point and was apprehending him uh, and then the insurgent uh, had an AK-47 and managed to get a, uh, a shot um, onto Cougar which forced him to let his, let his grip go. The insurgent managed to get him behind cover um, and sort of flee the area. Cougar was there, he was sort of sitting there, I could see his leg was broken. Um, so I initially called him um, and tried to coach him across. He, he moved a little bit and then sat back down. Uh, and then with a little bit more encouragement, uh, he just sort of hobbled down on three legs back into the water uh, and then swam back across the river um, back towards me. He was sort of shot uh, five times as a result of what he did. Um, we shrapneled down his back, um, those being several through his face, uh, through his ears, uh, and then also uh, one that went through his chest and out his shoulder, which broke his, his upper left leg. So he was in a pretty bad way at that point. So the initial treatment of Cougar uh, was done by myself. So another team member pushed up and covered me. Um, I provided that sort of immediate um, first aid that we provide and we're trained to do. I grabbed him uh, and carried him with the rest of the patrol. We married up with other patrol members. Uh, they provided more first aid and we got back onto the helicopter uh, and uh, travelled back to uh, Tarrant Cow to the Roll 2. I'm pretty proud of what Coo did that day. Um, ultimately it was up to him for what he did. Uh, he's the one who chose to go forward. He's the one who uh, chose to uh, take the bullets for both me and my mates and uh, ultimately that enabled me to uh, come home to my family. Cougar passed away, uh, sadly, uh, just a little less than a year later uh, in the kennels at, uh, back at Swanbourne. Though inconclusive, it's believed, you know, stress associated uh, with the wounds and his treatment ultimately uh, took his life. The PDSA Dickon Medal provides a unique uh, recognition for uh, Cougar uh, and the bravery that he displayed on the day to provide early warning uh, and protection for uh, the pack and my patrol specifically to ensure that uh, we came home safely. I think uh, it's really fitting for, for Cougar to be able to receive this award. Um, if anything, it just highlights the, the sacrifice that these dogs will make, um, even in today's sort of modern battlefield. And uh, not just Cougar, but all the other dogs that have served uh, with Australia and uh, all the other coalition defence forces uh, around the world.